just a boy who's looking for a place to go where I'll be free. Perhaps someday I'll find a girl who's looking for a place to go like me. I'll look around. Until I do, I won't have peace of mind I'm gonna find myself a place to go I'm gonna find myself a girl to love We'll go out walking hand in hand without a care I've got a feeling dreams come true someday, somewhere I'm just a boy who's looking for a place to go where I'll be free Perhaps someday I'll find a girl Who's looking for a place to go like me I'm gonna find myself a place to go I'm gonna find myself a girl to love We'll go out walking hand in hand Without a care I've got a feeling dreams come true someday somewhere I'm just a boy who's looking for a place to go where I'll be free Perhaps someday I'll find a girl who's looking for a place to go like me Drink for you, go. No, mate, mate, already. No, really, no. Oh, how's Pixie then? Oh, you know, any moment now. Tell Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jack. Hello, Mum. Hello, lovely light. Yeah, one or two on the way home. Here we are, Christmas dinner oh. and a bonus lovely. hundred bags. You ought to be ashamed of yourself in your condition, watching all that brutality. Baby will be born with two heads. Oh! Oh, little turn it up, Ricky. Oh, Jim, when are we going to get a place of our own? Now, as soon as we can, love. That'll be here soon. I'd better get the supper on. What's your Dobby? Happy Christmas, Matt. Thanks, mate. Same for you. Come on, we'll have a drink, Dobby. I'm late. And we get the blame for it. No, thanks. What's all this about you being in trouble with the union? Ah, that's nothing. When they stop you having like the bleeding bosses, I'll pay my dues, that's all. Anyhow, if I get kicked out of the docks, I can always come and join you doing the queues. You could do worse. Great big chap like you. Strong man act. Always goes down big. Go down big with Lily, would blimey she don't kill me. Well, give her my best and the kids too. Thanks, mate. Mine, there you go. Hey, Ricky! Ricky! This is meant to be Christmas, not a bleeding funeral. You just don't appreciate good music. Well, there's more music in this. It's Christmas, come on! That's it, my boy. Give it a boot. Put the old lever in. Oh, he is and all. Kick your uncle, would you? I'll have to put you in your place, Sonny Jim. Oh! That's enough, Ricky. You all right, Beth? Oh, she's all right. Yeah, I'm fine. There, I see. Yeah, we build them tough in Bethnal Green. Bethnal Green. <laughs> well, it's seen you all right, mate. <laughs> What's wrong with Bethnal Green? Well, you never stop saying how you can't wait to get out of it. Nothing wrong with it. Me and Jim just went out of our own. That's yeah, all. well, I want a life of my own. There's other places in the world, you know. Hmm. I know you don't think so, Mum. I know you think it's just the Atney Road and the Kingdom of Heaven, but there are other places. There's Greek islands and blue seas and hot sun. There's burning deserts where you could die of thirst in half an hour. Oh, that's lovely, that is. I'd love that. Yeah, well, I want to see them. I want to be independent. Get around and see the world. But Bethnal Green's all right. Yeah, if you burnt the old place down. Hey, that's an idea, Ricky. Here, let's have a bonfire. 
the burning of Buffalo Green. Now then, right, now then. Where do we start? On these bleeding things, I'm always hating the sight of them oh. anyway. Ricky, go. <laughs> Ricky. Oh, lovely to see you. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, 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 Quick and phone for the ambulance. Is she starting? Yeah, it's starting. Oh. Somebody do something. Riggy, the ambulance. Oh. Yeah, lend us, Fultons. Mary was at Mother Do much, do he? I know. Sure. Blimey, what do you expect him to do? Turn somersaults? When you've brought up two kids like I have, my oh, girl, I you... I know, Mum, but it is a bit of a letdown, isn't it? Well, letdown or not, I want ten of them. Ten. No less. Oh, yeah. You all have to go it alone a bit. I'm not getting married just to produce grandchildren from this old bag. Oh, thanks very much. Now, that's enough of that now, Ricky. In fact, I'm not getting married at all, mate. I want to get around a bit, see the world. Well, let's know when you're going. We could do with that extra room now. Yeah, we can't go on cramming into Mum's back room forever, Jim. We've got to get a place of our own now. No, I know. Now, don't you worry about it. We'll find something. Here we are, me old fruit. All this lot's got to get away before you're finished. I don't want nothing left down here tonight, right? Oh, sorry, Mr. Bunty. Think I'll have a cup of tea now, Bunty's up the spout. Don't give us a hand, will ya? Got me lines of demarcation, ain't I? That ain't what I heard from Sally Seymour. Sally, that's not true. I like you, honest, I do. I tell you what, why don't you come dancing with me Saturday night? Oh, Ricky, I'd love to. Yeah, I can't come Saturday, though. What about Friday? What's wrong with Saturday? But someone else, have you? Oh, Ricky, of course not. You're messing me about, aren't you? No, I'm not, Ricky. I just never knew you felt like... All right, I don't. If that's the way you want it. Oh, Ricky. You make up your mind, that's all. Ricky! And then cool off in here for a bit. What are you doing down here? Oh, Mr. Bunting. Uh, came over all queer, sir. Uh, Sally's going to get me some aspirins. Oh. Well, you should get a first aid if you're feeling unwell. If I catch you down here again, out of break out, you'll be reported. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mr. Bunting. Yeah, well... Oh. Well, that's torn it. He's going to report me if he finds me down here again. Oh, he won't report you. I don't know, he looked real nasty to me. Yeah. Sounded a bit sour, didn't he? Poor Eric. Poor Eric? So easy in on the old slap and tickle steaks too, is he? Blimey, what sort of joint are you running down here anyway? Oh, 
hello, Matt. Hello, Nobby. How's your Betsy, then? Well, well, Ricky Flint. Now, what a coincidence. Hello, Charlie. Hug. Evening, Mr. Flint. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. Still playing the cues, then, Nobby? Yeah. How's business, then? Seen it worse. All right, all right. I'm working on it. Anyway, what sort of rush? When Jack makes up his mind to do a job, he likes to get on with it. Can you fix the alarm? No. You can leave that to me. I've got the old circuit planned. Hope you're not going to let us down, Ricky boy. Come on, let's get back. Now, don't take umbrage, old chap. Besides, I ain't finished yet. All right, what then? Well, Jack reckons it's time we got the transport in. I thought he was going to nick a lorry on the night. A ringer? Oh, you're a very funny fellow, Ricky boy. No, Jack don't want a lorry that's crooked. All right. Who, then? Well, now, who do we know who's got a lorry? You know, someone who could use a bit of ready, eh? Uh, like somebody whose old woman was in the pudding club? You'd never do it. There's 200 in it for somebody. All right, I'll think about it. That's right, boy. You have a good old think. I said I'll think about it. All right, all right. There's a bird. Looks a bit slaggy to me. She's all right. Not flash enough for pug, I thought. She's not for pug. Oh? You weren't talking about no dogs. We was discussing the price of tarts, love. Oh, blimey, a humorist. Oh, yes, he's a very funny fellow. I keep telling him. What's good for the next pug? There's old Jack. Knocking back the old champagne and caviar there. Good old capitalist. Hey, Jack! Do me a favor, will you? Drop dead, will you? As a favor. Yeah, what's going to him? Now, you know, old Matt is crazy. You shut your mouth. Come on, Dad. What's got into you? He couldn't hear. What do you want to go shouting at him like that for? Bless him, he ought to be put down. I hate to see you having anything to do with him. I don't hardly know him. Ah, well, let's forget Mr. Jack bloody element. Some people. Jack must be off his nut having anything to do with the flints. Yeah. I've got to get a bet on Pug. Yeah. Yeah, what's all this about trouble at the docks in? I don't know. The man can hardly call his soul his own. The union is as bad as the bleeding bosses. In the old days, a job was a job, and nobody told you when to work or how to work. Yeah, most big you was out of work, like it's not. Well, so that was life. But at least it was your own life, and you were in charge of it. I'm getting out, son. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm looking around. What does Mum say? Oh, oh here. Uh, three hours from the cell. Oh, three to one to thirty, Bob. What did you say your name was? Catherine? Miss Donovan to you. I'm going to call you Cat. Alley Cat. You go to hell. Miss Alley Cat Donovan. Mind it, don't scratch her, mate. Here, how they get like that? Sewing. That's what I do. What? Your hands get like that? Oh, sure. We sew leather. Leather coats and that. Here, where's Charlie? Who knows? Well, I thought you was with him. I'm not with nobody. <coughs> oh, fancy free, eh? Too true I am. Fancy free. Right, I'll take you home. At home, then.
<laughs> it's hard to make a go at a transport business. If I got an A license, I'd be laughing. I could carry anybody's goods anywhere. Can't you get one? Uh, it takes money. The Transport Commission put up lawyers to stop you. It takes cash to fight them. I've been saving for it to try it, you know. Hey, don't tell Betsy, though. She'll want to put it all towards getting a place of our own. Uh, don't worry. Here, I might be able to help you with something. Go on. Yeah, there's a job you could do. Yeah? I may take you one night. Oh, that'll be a great help, that will. Oh, well, I don't know. 200 quid. All right. What's it all about? Well, it's the factory. Now, we're gonna do it. Charlie Beatty, Puggy Hicks and me. Jack Hunman's the boss. Now, we want you and your lorry to transport. A load of fags, which is big money. Yeah, but how are you gonna... How are you gonna do it? Ain't there a watchman? Nah, but the place is lousy with burglar alarms. It's my job to fix them. That's why I've been working there the past three months. And I get 200 quid. Well, it'll help you get that license, won't it? I don't know, Ricky, I don't know. I mean, once you get started with that sort of thing, there's no end to it, is there? It's just one job, Jim. One job, that's all. Then we break off, finish. It's just one night's work. It's all I'm in it for. Just enough money to get me independence. OK, Ricky, OK. Oh, I can't say no to an offer like that, can I? That's it, mate. I bet the balloon's gone up at home. Dad's telling Mum about leaving the docks. Oh, well, Ricky's been telling me about it, Matt. I don't know. I reckon you're right. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. I'm with you, Dad. We both want the same thing, I reckon. Do we, Ricky? Stuck in, eh? This is my place. Not anymore, it ain't. You sit where I tell you. Well, you tell me. He pays for the food. Since when have you told me what to do? Since when, eh? Oh, Mum, I can't... You can't keep help. out of this. Now, listen, Lil, you, you keep your mouth shut, I'm telling you. You don't tell me nothing no more, Matt Flint. You chuck up your job, you just fling away your job. What rights have you got anymore? Now, listen. What's going on here? I don't know. Now. Some changes made. We can't go on spending like we have been doing. Uh, don't worry, Lil. I'll soon get a job again. No problem. <sighs> What's that for? You're not as young as you was, love. Oh, Matt. Don't worry, Lil. I'll soon get a job again. I'm not old. Got this strength. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not worrying, love. I'm just saying we'll have to cut down for a bit. Just for the time being. Here, the telly can go for a start. No, we can keep that on. The telly can go. Just as that jab into itself in the corner. We'll be all right, Lil. Of course we will. I love you, Lil. <laughs> Oi, 
Where's Kathy Donovan live? What do you want her for? Oh. I'm doing nine to seven. <laughs> what are you going to do to her, mister? Can we come watch? You could be with her. This is where Kathy Donovan lives. You have me there, sir. I haven't seen her for the best part of a week. Ah, the poor girl. Wow, what's up? Well, no, the last I saw her, she was falling down a manhole. Old Montague Street it was. Must have been carried down the river by now. On down to South End Pier. She's bound to pass there sometime. Wonderful to see you. Well, you don't look so hot yourself. Yeah, want to come to the pictures tonight? Oh, okay, I don't mind. There's a good one at the Odeon. There's a good one on at the Asoldo. I want to go to the Odeon. Blood luck. I want to go to the Asoldo. Here, I tell you what. You give me the money, then I can go to the Odeon. We can meet after if you like. Oh, I should go, go. We going to the Asoldo? No. No! Meet you at the Soldo, half past six. I'll be at the Odeon. Don't come in none of your kid brother's cast-offs, neither, you old ragbag. Eh? Terrible woman to have for a daughter. I'll just go to the 
One a penny. Oh, one less sauce from you, mate. Here, yeah, I'll come with you. That beard and I'll go through you. Charming. Uh, Jack, what are you doing here? Just passing. Hey, Jack, do me a favour, will you? Drop Ted, will you? As a favour. There. Was that my girl that was with you? She ain't your girl. Charlie, go and ask Mr. Flint Sr. to come and have a drink with us. I don't know that it's very wise to get involved with an intelligent girlfriend at this stage of the game. I'm not getting involved. Good boy. Jack. Yeah? He don't like you. <laughs> Tell me something new. You want to drink with him, he says? You go and drink with him. <laughs> He's an obstinate geezer, your old man. Hi, Matt. Nice to see you again. Let's come and have a drink. No, I've got a drink. I've got a seat. Then I'm happy. Sit down, Nobby. This is the king of bleeding Zanzibar. I think I'll go and... I'm an old friend, Matt. You're no friend of mine. I want to help you. Help? What up do I need from you, mate? I hear you're out of work. I'm going into business on my own. <laughs> At your age, talk sense. Come and work for me, Matt. Listen, don't you talk to me like that. Hmm. What's going on? <laughs> Nobby? What's going on? He'll show you something. What are you talking about? You'll see. All right, then. Come outside and I'll show you. Nobby? What's that up to? He'll show that Jack Elliman he don't need no job. You just wait and see. Lil. Stop Matt making a fool of himself. If Matt wants to make a fool of himself, that's his lookout. What's he up to then? I don't know. Oh, John. Uh, right case, your old man. Let's have a look. <laughs> My life. Oh, what's a silly old slob up to now then? So you've got nothing then, Matt? Who's <laughs> your tailor? <laughs> Come on then, Matt. You've got nothing to lose but your chain. Fine, it'll go great up west. What do you mean up west? Matt's joining me. We're doing the queues. Busking. You can take real money. It's a great act. It's begging. Oh no, it ain't. I've been at it for 20 years and owned every penny. I'm sorry, Nobby. I didn't mean you. It's all right for you. But Matt's different. He's a docker. Not now. Not no more. I'm not. Come on, Lil. I need a wet after this. Look. We've paid good money up at Collins's to see worse acts than mine. Oh, it's a great act. It needs a bit of polishing. Sit down, you know. There's this place around the corner. Come around the corner with you? Mm. Whatever for? 
What's the matter with you? You bar me or something? Yeah. What do you want me to do, Ricky? What do you want to do to me, Ricky? Shut up. What do you want to do to me? You want to make love to me? <laughs> oh, you are a noisy cow. this? My lady's boudoir. <laughs> Here, I'm not having no rats around watching. Cats. It's all right, then. Loads of cats around here. It means there's no one else around, anyway. Then. What's all this then? Eviction notices. The old bloody street, that's what's all this. See what it says? Slum clearance. Call in my house, a slum. It's done, that's all right. Oh, I don't know, they'll find us something. These new flats are all right. Flats. Here yeah, might be prefabs. They're instant houses. Instant slums, more like. They might give us a place of our own, Jim. Oh, what a hope. They got no right to just chuck us out at a minute's notice. Two months, love. Or well, what's two months when we lived in a place for 30 years? Not good enough. There ought to be something we could do about it. Yeah. Petition. What? Get up and petition. That's it. That's it. We'll get up a petition from everyone in the street, everybody in Clare Street. Yeah, Matt! Matt! I want you! Hello. Hello. See you. <laughs> Hello, Vicky. Give me a bob for it. Half a crown. Ten, I think. Make it a bob, then. No. Yeah, how much is he? Canary, 25 bob, mate. Do us a favour, how much is that one? Two pounds. Bit fat, isn't he? He ain't fat, he's plump. He's been well looked after, he's breastfed, that one. Give a quid for him. Pound for him? I wouldn't insult him. Two pounds. He's not worth two pounds. But I'll tell you what, he tosses this mouldy old canary, yeah? I'll give you two pounds ten the two. Make it three quid. I wouldn't take him off your hands, but it so happens I'll do for my kid brother who's deaf, dumb and blind. Fifty bob the two. All right, go on then. Right, that makes it ten bob for the canary. Oi! 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 Come, go! Come back here, will ya? I wouldn't try that game if I was you. Oh, isn't he lovely, though? Kiss a kiss for it now. 
prefer pigeons myself. What are you doing tonight? They're big here now. I don't know yet. Mm, they make better eating when you get tired of them. He, he looks a bit malty to me, that one. Well, so would you if you were shut up in a cage all day? Why don't you let him out, then? We don't get that trouble with pigeons. Would you mind if I did, Ricky? No, it's yours. You do what you like, then. Oh, he doesn't seem to want to come out. Of course he does. Lift him out. Mind your hands. Go on, let him go, then. He's frightened. No. Give him a push, come on. He's free now. He'll be all right. He's free. It's a fake. Of course it isn't. But of course it is. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe Ray knows they are. <laughs> you heard what I said? There's no need to be rude. lorry there. Then we've loaded up, you get it back to my place. Help unload and lose yourself. Right. Now it's up to little Ricky here. Well, get out of it. I'm just going to get his feed. Evening, Mr. Elliman. Hello, Betsy. Is that your kitchen? Oh, blimey, he's ugly, isn't he? Now, you watch what you're saying about my nephew. How could I have Uncle Ricky, then? Well, it's got four legs and a snout, so I suppose it's you, man. Oh, thanks. You bloody well shut up. Now then, now then, it's only Charlie's sense of humor. Look, don't take no notice of him, Betty. It's just his idea of a joke. Well, it's not mine. What do you want to know people like them for? Well, Jack brought him. What was he here for? What do they want here, anyway? For some furniture. Wardrobes and stuff. And Jack wants shipping. Yeah, well, a funny time of night to come about it. That's all I can say. Well, that's business, isn't it? Oh, Jim, when are we going to get a place of our own? I won't be long, Betsy. Come on, you pop up to bed. I've got to get back in there. They're waiting. I won't be long, though. Wouldn't be the same, would it, coming home to a block of flats? You said in the petition. Couldn't do anything, could they, Matt? Not now, knowing how we feel. Well, that's what you think, love. It's nothing to do with us, we just live here. Remember when we first come here? Yeah. A house, nothing to put in it. Except the old iron bed. Well, so with that, that's what we wanted, wasn't it? Oh, Matt. <laughs> Still, we've come on a bit since then, what with the kids and Yeah, that. and the old man on the streets, eh? No, I didn't mean it, love. You always was a mad devil. I ought to be used to you by now. Yeah, what's all this, then? Jack Elliman's car. Just ring me, Ricky. When we're all set, just ring me. Right you are, Jack. What's your listening? Oh, Dad. Did you ask this lot in? Well, a mate's of mine. I'm very fond of your son, Matt. Look, I told you before, keep away from my boy. I don't want him to have anything to do with you. You're not telling me I that. I am no. telling you. Now, now, 
Come on, Matt. What's going on in your old man, Lil? You think you can do what you like, don't you? Don't you, Jack? You think you can just come and go as you please? It don't matter. I'm the great Jack Bloody Elephant. Well, this is someone who's not taking it. No, I just came around to see your son. I live here, don't I? Jack's a friend of mine. I've known you a sight too long, Jack Elliman. Just keep away from my family. I try to help you, Matt. Don't need your help. Don't need your help, eh? You do. I do? <laughs> oh, that's a laugh. When I want any help from you, I'll let you know. Don't you worry. You've got to think of Lil. So that's it, is it? I'll take care of her. Don't you worry. All right, Matt, let's leave it open. No, no, you don't. No, no, you don't. Matt, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Try to drag her into this. No, 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 Used to be friends. Now he hates me. That's what's going on. Oh, come off it. All right. He was jealous. Jealous? You must be joking. I was in the money. Dad don't want that sort of money. Maybe he thinks your mum did. Mum? He knew I was after Lil before they were married. Well, they got married. I accepted it. You bloody well had to, didn't you? Perhaps. Anyway, I'd like to have helped him. I want to help you, Ricky. Will you do something for me, Jack? Just stay away from me after this. I don't want nothing more to do with you, see? Mr. Flint? Yeah, that's right. I'm afraid I have bad news for you, Mr. Flint. Your father's dead. Dead? He had a cerebral hemorrhage, a stroke. If he'd have lived, he'd have probably been paralyzed and bedridden. That would have been hard for an active, strong man. Yeah, that's right. He was a strong man. Sorry about that, Sammy. I was wrong there. I lost money on it, too. Hey? Bad luck. I had a century on it with the book. The winner. What do you want to come and lose money up here for, then? Keep the odds long. Right, then. I've been taking your phony tips, too. <laughs> Ricky, I delayed things a bit because of Matt. But now we've got to get moving. And it suits me. They usually test the alarms beginning of the week. I'll get on to you when they've done it. Good boy. Well, Ricky, you'll soon be in the money. This will be your sort of place. You belong here. I won't belong anywhere, mate. When I've got my bet, I'm getting out on my own somewhere. 
I don't want no belonging to places or people. What about your girlfriend? The skinny bit. <laughs> Never you mind about her. I don't mind. Charlie mind. What do you mean, Charlie? There ain't nothing to her. They're around together. They're here tonight. Oh, what? It's all down below. By the rail somewhere. Sit down, Ricky. What's she to you, anyway? Yeah, that's right. She don't mean nothing. Catherine Donovan here. Want your flowers done, love? Just slip them off. Anything to oblige. Hmm, come and give us a hand. No, I want to talk to you. What about? Well, can't you come outside for a bit? What? To lose me sing? Well, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, what do you want to talk to her about, mister? Look, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm going out tonight, Ricky. What about tomorrow? Well, where are you going tonight? Out. What, with Charlie Beatty? Maybe. We going out with him again? So? You don't tell me what to do, Ricky. I'll do what I like. You want to watch it, Cat. You might finish up in that water. Just you try, that's all. Just you try. Right. You going out with Charlie Bates? Well, mind your own bloody business. Finish me washing. girls think about getting married and having kids what and end up like me mum or oh, yours if it comes to that draggle old housewives oh I should have thought that was just a job for you find some steady dependable bloke what about Charlie Beatty then you go to well if you're the married child and you all right Let's forget it! Hey, Cat. Cat, come back! I didn't mean it! Well, I did! No one ever takes any notice. Testing. How do you know? Although the lamps go off all over and no one ever takes any notice. Cool, why don't they shut that rail? Hello, Jack. They just tested the alarm. Good. Well, the sooner we can get it done, the better, then. When can you do your bit, Ricky? I can fit the dud fuse in the alarm circuit dinner time. Good boy. Right. We'll do it tonight. Everything's laid on. Tonight? Well, yeah, I suppose so. What do you mean, you suppose? OK, OK. Tonight it is. Uh, I'll tell Jim. Right. See you, Ricky. So long, Jack.
Sally. Hello, Ricky. Come for a drink. Dinner time, eh? It's your birthday. Oh, many happy returns. So, drink over the road then, eh? All right, then. See you there. Join me in a glass of beverage? No, thank you. I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea. Very nice, too. I'll join you. Got me sandwiches. Here. You're not supposed to come in here. Oh, Eric. You men are all the same. You're only after one thing. Oh, Eric. See you. I want to talk to you. It's on. We're doing it tonight. What's up? I can't do it. Look, I've thought about it and thought about it, and I've had a hell of a time over it, but I can't do it. You can't back out. Not now. It's all fixed for tonight. You've got to go through with it. I can't. God knows how I'm going to get me license or a house. But I'll be much worse off the other way, and you will too, you know. Everything's ready. I've done my bit on a fuse, and now you say no. Don't come the old moral up with me. Look, I'll drive your bleeding lorry myself. No. The lorry stays out of it. I'm sorry I took so long to this side, but... Well, there it is. Do you want a lift? No, thanks. Well, they like being let down, Ricky. It wouldn't do for anybody to get away with that. Won't make no difference, Jack. I'll be there with the lorry. I'll drive it myself. All right. Too late to change things now. You be there with the lorry. Jim's backed out. We'll see about that. Don't know, Charlie. Don't want anybody we can't rely on. Ricky will be there with the lorry. We'll be one short. I'll come myself. Well, well. I'll phone her to put out the old red carpet then. <laughs> What's up? What's going on with you? Nothing. What do you keep looking at the time for? Look, if I'm boring you, mate. No, it's not like that. Hang around. I want you. Oh, you do, do you? What's the matter with you tonight? Nothing. Something's up, isn't it? I know something's on from Charlie. If you have anything more to do with that bastard, I'll kick your teeth in. Oh, Charlie. Such nice things you say to me. You're the one who ought to stay away from Charlie if you ask me. Well, I'm not asking you, am I? Why don't you mind your own business? Well, you're always minding mine. Who do you think you are, anyway? My boyfriend or something? Oh, that'll be the day. Yeah, that'll be the day, all right. Cat! Cat!
Well, let's see if you've done your job properly. Gloves. I'd forgotten. This is cleared every day. All the stuff's on the third floor, ready to go on a lift. Right. Pug. No, leave Pug there on watch. You never know with Ricky. Huh? Can you do with Pug? Don't want a murder on our hands. Pug. Anybody comes down the alley, use it.
I'll get that bleeding Ricky if it's the last thing I do. Suits you? Don't make me laugh, for God's sake. How are you, Ricky? Never felt better. <laughs> That's a bit nice healing. Your mum says you'll be out soon. She'll be in a new flat by then. Yeah, I know. Cat, I... Uh, um, <clears throat> look, Cat, I wanted to see you. Well, sit down. I don't know what my... what my face is going to look like when I'm done with it. It didn't look too good before. Yeah. Will it... Will it matter to you, Kat? Well, I can't say what I feel till I see it, can I? I don't want it to make any difference. Your face don't matter that much. That's the way I feel now. But I might feel different when I see it. I hope I don't, but you can't up the way you feel, can you? What well, what you been doing of? Oh, nothing much. Yeah. You've been going out with Charlie while I've been here? I've been out with him. Cat, you're not still going out with him, are you? After all this? I don't want to sit around doing nothing, do I? Yeah, we're not Charlie Beatty. Why not Charlie Beatty? I'm free, aren't I? We're not engaged, are we? I'm sorry, Ricky. I couldn't lie to you. Just get well soon, love. Hello, Ricky. Hello, Jim boy. Sorry I'm late. Here, I've brought you some fruit and magazines. Oh, tell me. Hey, your mum sent her love. She couldn't come because of the move. Yeah. Tomorrow, is it? Yeah. yeah. I borrowed a lorry for it. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old Lil. You should have heard her weeping and wailing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jim, what about the insurance? Are they paying up? Oh, they will do, yeah. What, enough for a new lorry? Well, they would be, but... Well, I'm turning in the transport lark. I'll get a steady job. The insurance will pay the deposit on the house. It's what Betsy's always wanted. Jim, I'll be out of here soon. And we'll have a gut, Beatty and his mob. They're not getting away with it. No, Ricky, it's best left alone. I felt like blue murder at first, I can tell you. I went round looking for them, but they was lying low, I reckon. And then Betsy was at me. She says that if it got out that it wasn't an accident, then it might upset the insurance. I suppose she's right. Just you get out of here, son. Don't seem the same about you. Why now you go? Tell Jim. Then it looked dirty now, all the things have gone. It's hard to believe we've lived here all these years. It's my home. 
Oh, Mum, the flat's so nice and bright. You'll love it once you're in. Come on in. Let's get the old kit down. I sit up. Be more comfy there. Cab's full of stuff. All right. I'll just go and lock up. Don't bother. There's nothing left to lock up. Betsy's come Betsy. to see you. Ricky, love. Give us your bag. It's nice here, Mum. It's not the same as having your own front door. Oh, I know. It's terrific. Look, you can see some pools. It's all very well for them as likes it, I suppose. Oh, blimey, I've got something on the stove. Poor old Mum. She's never satisfied. Well, how's the landed gentry, then? Now you've got a house of your own. Oh, the house is nice, really. We've got a bit of garden and our own telly. Jim's job's all right, the factory too. Oh, but... oh, come off it. I say you're not satisfied after all that trouble I went to. Oh, you're awful, Ricky. No, the house is nice, really. Trees all down the street and that. Just a bit lonely, that's all. What about the pub, then? Oh, the nearest pub's a mile away. Went there a couple of times. Jim wanted to meet people, he said. Oh, but it was all so new and shiny. The governor wasn't very friendly. There was hardly anybody else in it. So far away from anywhere. Just some kids on motorbikes. What did you do in the evenings then? Oh, didn't look at telly. It's funny how you feel you know the people you watch on it. I even write to them sometimes. Oh, you really got it bad. Right into the telly. I put you in the loony bin. Oh, shut up. Now then, you two. Raring already. Have a nice cup of tea. No, thanks, Mum. I'll be back later. I've got something to do. Hello. Well, if it 
named Uncle Ricky then. I didn't know he was out. Now what? Been inside. Carved a blonde or something, I think. Here, yeah, what's the matter with his face? It gets me. I like it. You go for anything nasty, don't you? I'm looking for Charlie. I reckon he'll be looking for you too, mate. Oh, yeah? I should start running if I was you. Yeah, where is he? Might find him in the pushing arms. I'll do. I'll come with you. Me too. Are you a potty? <laughs> It's all right. Why you come here? I hate this place. I like it. Oh, why the hell I come out with you? Well, that's their Ricky. mother's offered to stand bail for you. If you fail to appear at Old Street Magistrate's Court at 10 a.m. tomorrow, she'll lose her money. You understand? Yes. Sign for your things. You'll find all your personal possessions there, except for the flick knife, which is the subject of the charge. Sorry, Mum. You were all I had left, Ricky. Now you've gone. You're just a layabout and a thief, too. What have I got left? I used to have your dad, but he's gone now. Betsy and Jim have gone. The house has been broken down. What have I got left? You've still got me. Oh, what you all want to talk about being free for? I never wanted it. I was always glad to have responsibility. Well, that's life, isn't it? Anything of value. Ties you down, it stands to reason. I never wanted to be free, but you all did. And in the end, I'm the only one that's free. I've got no responsibilities now. I've got no ties. I've got nothing. But I'm free. Look at me. Free. Lint. You evidently started this fight, and the police found you with a knife in your hand. It wasn't mine, sir. Yes, I know. You've told us that. And witnesses have stated the knife was Beatty's. Nevertheless, the use of this weapon makes this a very serious matter. What was this fight about? Well, it was about a girl, sir. Miss Donovan? Yes, sir. I see. And why were you fighting about her? Oh, we was just fighting, that's all. Flint, answer my question. Why were you fighting? Well, it's like this, sir. She's my girl, and we've been going out together a long time. And I've been away. I've been stuck in hospital. Like, and while I've been away, this bait he's been seeing and taking her out and that. Well, I got a bit choked off with it, and I wanted to sort him out, see? 
Yes, but Beatty says that Miss Donovan is his girl and that your attack was unprovoked. What do you say to that? Well, that's not true, sir. I see. Well, if what you say is true, it puts the matter in a different light. Can you prove any legitimate relationship between yourself and Miss Donovan? We was going to get married, sir. We was engaged and we was going to get married. That's a lie, sir. This isn't something you've just made up on the spur of the moment, is it? No, sir. Why, it is. He just made that up, sir. Quiet, Betty. Is Miss Donovan here? She's outside, sir. I thought she might be needed as a witness. Call Catherine Donovan. Miss Donovan, are you acquainted with the accused, Flint? Yes. And is there any relationship between you and him? Yes. Would you describe yourself as his girl? Remember, you are on earth. Yes, I'm his girl. Is there anything more than that? Are you engaged to be married? Yes. We're engaged to be married. Thank you, Miss Donovan. You may stand down. Thank you. Well, Flint, <clears throat> I have a report on you here. You have no previous convictions. Your school record is good. And I have also a good report of you from your employers, Cool Stream Cigarettes. I believe the evidence that the knife was Beatty's. On the other hand, it is quite clear that you started the fight. And the fact that you're engaged to Miss Donovan does seem, however, to indicate an extenuating circumstance. I'm going to be very lenient with you, therefore. And I hope that you'll take good advantage of it, and get married, and settle down. I bind you over to keep the peace for a year, and you will pay three pounds cost. Thank you, sir. As for you, Betty. That's great of you to say that, Cat. Fine, it makes me look an engaged girl going out with another man while her fiance is in hospital. Oh. I suppose we'll have to get married now. Don't want to be out up for perjury. <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it, seeing as how we hate each other? Yeah, I had a nature cat. I love you. Want to marry you? Oh, don't talk wet. Oh, charming. You really want to marry me? You really love me? Just said so, didn't I? How many more times? Is, is this a proposal? Yep. Well, OK. I don't mind. Well, where do you think? Well, where are you taking me? What do you want to do to me? You want to make love to me? Find myself a place to go. I'm gonna find myself a girl to love. We'll go out walking hand in hand without a care. I've got a feeling dreams come true someday, somewhere. I'm just a boy who's looking for a place to go.